What is your business trying to accomplish? How are you really, at the individual level, changing the life of somebody else out there that is trusting you enough to open up their wallets and giving you their money? How are you making that person better? This is something that I like to explain to anybody that wants to get our help. If you have a business, you have also a superpower. And we all have it. If you don't have it, you really don't have a business that makes the world a better place. And any good business out there makes the world a better place somehow. Whether you have a makeup line or you do accounting services or whether you have a um, uh, a wood shop or it really doesn't matter what it is. Every single one of these businesses improves the life of somebody else somehow. My, maybe that's spiritually. Like if business consultant is going to help somebody improve their business and get better results, be able to hire more people and scale their business and get their products in front of more people. A one-on-one -on -one coach, a personal coach is going to help you get more results personally and maybe help you spiritually feel better. Uh, an individual designer is going to help you feel better about yourself because you're going to be able to put uh, better stuff in your home and uh, you are going to feel better about it whether that's a personal designer or whatever it is. So you see everybody that has a business, you somehow create a positive effect in the life of somebody else. Unless you're selling something that maybe is not something that I would agree on. Like for example, if, you, if you're in the business of selling drugs, that's not a business that I would support. And that's not making somebody else better. It's actually destroying people. But generally, any business is going to make somebody else better. So the first thing that you got to understand as part of this process is that you got to really get what that purpose is that you have. What is your business trying to accomplish? How are you really at the individual level changing the life of somebody else out there that is trusting you enough to open up their wallets and giving you their money? How are you making that person better? And when you have a conviction that you really want to help these people because you believe in your products and your services, that is the best way that you can get started. Once you start with that mentality, and it's not about, oh, I want to generate more money so I can buy myself a brand new Maserati or whatever the case may be that you want to buy yourself or a Rolex or I want to buy myself a better equipment. It doesn't matter what that is. If you have the mindset that begins with, I want to do this business because I want to help people. That is something that is going to take, take you towards a journey that I have been traveling and trust me, it is a worthwhile journey because as you're growing it and you're getting more revenue and you're expanding and you're able to provide better for yourself and for your family and for your employees, you're also helping a lot of people. And that's first and foremost, the first thing that you need to pay attention to any business that makes the life of somebody else better. If marketed correctly and handled correctly, your revenue will grow hand in glove together with it along the way. If you're enjoying this content, please go ahead and subscribe. Help me comment below and let me know if you have any questions about marketing. And I, I'm on a mission to help as many of you as possible conquer the marketing world. So help me out. Subscribe, hit that button, hit that bell, get notified. We're going heavy with content in this 2021 year and beyond. Go ahead and subscribe right now.